Welcome to Ted's Garden. In this video, we delve into a natural and effective defense against cucumber beetles, ensuring your garden thrives and yields an abundant cucumber harvest. Discover a game-changing method that doesn't rely on chemical solutions. Join us as we unveil a sustainable approach to safeguarding your cucumber plants and boosting their overall health. Don't miss out on this essential knowledge for any avid gardener looking to protect their precious crops. Watch now and cultivate a thriving garden with confidence. Plant cucumber varieties that are less attractive to cucumber beetles, such as burpless, non-bitter varieties like Suyo Long. If cucumber beetles invade, consider using neem oil, spinosad, or pyrethrin sprays, but be cautious with pyrethrin as it may affect beneficial insects. We recommend algae plus organic plant food. It not only feeds your plants, but also acts like a pesticide without the side effects. Algae Plus has a 60% oil base, made up of proteins, which act like neem oil. Let me explain. Neem oil is a natural substance extracted from the seeds of the neem tree, Azadiracta indica, a tropical evergreen native to India and Asia. Neem oil has various applications in agriculture, medicine, and cosmetics, but one of its most popular uses is as a pesticide and fungicide for plants. Neem oil works as a pesticide by interfering with the feeding, growth, and reproduction of insects that attack plants. It also disrupts the development of fungal spores and prevents them from spreading on plant surfaces. Neem oil is effective against a wide range of pests and diseases such as aphids, mites, mealy bugs, white flies, caterpillars, beetles, powdery mildew, leaf spot, and rust. To use neem oil as a pesticide, you need to dilute it with water and a mild soap or detergent. The soap helps the oil to emulsify and stick to the plant leaves. The recommended ratio is two tablespoons of neem oil and one teaspoon of soap per gallon of water. You can also add a few drops of essential oil, such as peppermint or lavender, to enhance the scent and repel insects. You can spray the neem oil solution on your plants using a handheld sprayer or a garden hose attachment. Make sure to cover all the plant parts, especially the undersides of the leaves where insects tend to hide. You can apply the spray once every 7 to 14 days, or more often if the infestation is severe. Avoid spraying during the hottest part of the day or when the plants are wet, as this can cause leaf burn or reduce the effectiveness of the oil. Neem oil is considered a safe and eco-friendly alternative to synthetic pesticides, as it does not harm beneficial insects, birds, or mammals. However, some people may be allergic to neem oil or experience skin irritation or eye discomfort when handling it. Therefore, it is advisable to wear gloves, goggles, and a mask when spraying neem oil and wash your hands and clothes thoroughly after use. Spinosad is a natural substance made by a soil bacterium that can be toxic to insects. It is a mixture of two chemicals called spinosin A and spinosin D. It is used to control a wide variety of pests, such as thrips, leaf miners, spider mites, mosquitoes, ants, fruit flies, and others. Spinosad works by affecting the nervous system of insects that eat or touch it. It causes their muscles to flex uncontrollably, leading to paralysis and death, typically within one, two days. Spinosad is low in toxicity to people and other mammals, but it can cause irritation and redness if it gets on your skin or in your eyes one. It is also harmful to bees and some aquatic organisms, so it should be used with caution and according to the label instructions. Spinosad is found in over 80 registered pesticide products, some of which are approved for use in organic agriculture. It is also found in some drugs for treating head lice and fleas on humans and pets. Pyrethrin sprays are a type of insecticide that are derived from a natural source, the chrysanthemum flower. They are effective against a wide range of pests, such as ants, mosquitoes, 
moths, flies, and fleas. They work by disrupting the nervous system of the insects, causing them to die quickly. Pyrethrin sprays are considered to be relatively safe for humans and the environment, as they break down rapidly in sunlight and water. However, they can still cause some health effects if inhaled, ingested, or absorbed through the skin. Some of the symptoms include nausea, vomiting, headache, dizziness, and allergic reactions. But we have other ways to help you grow the best crop of cucumbers in your garden. To maximize your cucumber harvest, here are some expert tips. 1. Harvest strategically. Continuously picking cucumbers encourages ongoing flowering and fruit production. This keeps the plant focused on producing more cucumbers rather than diverting energy towards seed ripening. 2. Maintain moisture levels. Ensure the soil remains adequately moist. This prevents cucumbers from becoming misshaped and bitter, ensuring a more delicious harvest. 3. Water wisely. When watering, direct it at the base of the plant. This practice helps avoid wet leaves, which can lead to disease issues. 4. Consider vertical growth. Opt for vining varieties of cucumbers and grow them up a trellis. This not only improves airflow around the plants, but also makes harvesting much easier. 5. Plan for continuity. Have replacement cucumber plants ready to go. This way, you can ensure a steady supply of fresh cucumbers throughout the growing season. 6. Mulch matters. Apply a thick layer of mulch around the base of the plants. This helps maintain consistent moisture levels and prevents problems associated with uneven watering. 7. Time your transplants. Be patient with transplanting cucumber plants in the spring. Wait at least three to four weeks after the last expected frost date to ensure optimal growing conditions. These strategies will not only lead to a bountiful cucumber harvest, but also result in healthier and more flavorful fruits. But here are two of the best methods for protecting your harvest that will help your crop prosper. First, insect netting. Cover your young plants with insect netting. This physical barrier prevents cucumber beetles from reaching the plants and causing damage. Remove the netting once you see flowers forming on the plants to allow bees to pollinate them. Second, surround kaolin clay. This is a protective substance that forms a layer on top of the cucumber plants. It discourages cucumber beetles from going after the plant. Additionally, it can mask the cucumber plant's identity, making it harder for beetles to identify it as a cucumber. This clay is particularly effective in deterring cucumber beetles. Kaolin clay, a naturally occurring mineral, is a valuable tool in gardening. When applied to plants, it forms a protective barrier on the leaves, acting as a natural shield against harmful insects and pests. This physical barrier deters them from feeding and laying eggs, effectively reducing damage to the plants. Additionally, kaolin clay's reflective properties help to scatter and disorient insect pests. Beyond pest control, it also serves as a natural sunscreen for plants, shielding them from excessive heat and harmful UV rays. This versatile clay is a trusted ally for gardeners, offering an eco-friendly and effective means to promote healthier, thriving plants. Remember, implementing these measures early on is crucial to ensure the health and productivity of your cucumber plants. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel that will help us to keep bringing these informative videos. Thanks for watching.